Hi everyone, my name is Eric and today I'm going to go over how to achieve a full coverage long wear look that has a little bit of a glow to it. So I'm going to start off with my skincare as usual. Like always, I'm going to start with our hydrating face tonic. And then I'm going to follow with our extra repair serum. And what I like about this serum is that it has an extra repair complex. So what it does is it helps with firmness, lines and wrinkles, hydration. It really just binds the moisture into your skin. Next, I'm going to do our vitamin rich face base. So many of you may have experienced this already. And if you haven't, you really need to get your hands on it. This is like a super buttery moisturizer with primer all together in one. It has vitamin A, C, I'm sorry, C and E, and it has a beautiful citrus scent to it. So it just awakens you immediately. Next, I'm going to prep my under eye area with hydrating eye cream. This eye cream is great for all skin types, all ages, anybody. It is just a drink of water for your under eye area. I'm gonna blend it between my ring finger and then gently pat it right underneath and out to the orbital bone. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of glow to my skin. I'm gonna use Bobbi Brown's Extra Repair um, Illuminating Balm in Bare Glow. What I love about this is that it gives you an instant luminosity. Um, I'm more of a combination to oily skin, so I'm just gonna focus it right here on my cheeks so you can see that instant glow that's going on. I guess there's kind of a glow all over my face, but you can get a little bit more right there. Now we're gonna go into foundation. So today I'm gonna use Skin Longwear Weightless Full Coverage Foundation. Uh, the color that I'm using is Golden Beige. And what I'm doing, I got a pump on my foundation brush. And right now I'm using the original brush, so the flat one, not the full coverage. This brush kind of gives you a little bit more coverage, I feel, because it just lays it down and almost like paints it into your skin. This foundation gives you 16 hour waterproof wear, which is awesome. It's also hydrating. So even though it is a matte foundation, it's not going to leave your skin feeling super dry. So I'm just gonna do another pump on this side. So for me, I find that the Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation even though it is a full coverage foundation, for me, it's not as full as I would like it to be. So what I like to do to build my coverage, so make it seem a little bit more natural, is I like to get the foundation stick. And this is the same shade, golden beige. But what I'm actually doing now is I'm getting my full coverage brush and I'm putting it into my stick foundation. And with this, I'm gonna buff it in to my skin. And the reason why I like to use a full coverage brush versus the flat foundation brush in this sense is because I want to buff it into my skin and almost make it like melt in. I feel like it gives me a little bit more control. I'm going to buff in circles and then press so I can build that coverage up. And I'm doing like a nice even canvas layer so you can see how this side, I feel like it's a little bit more perfected versus the other. And then, like I've said before, since I don't wear eye makeup, whatever's on my brush, I just lightly put on my lid to even out my skin tone. So for me, this is like my perfect full coverage. Uh, now I'm going to do my under eye area. So what I like to do is I like to do two steps. It's uh, called corrector and concealer. And what I'm gonna do is corrector, I just wanna use it where I'm having the most darkness, which is just like right in the inner part. So I'm going to get our corrector in light to medium bisque. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to use the cream blending brush and I'm going to place it right where the darkness is at. And with corrector, you wanna use it where you need it. So you don't wanna go everywhere. Um, if you put too much corrector on and then you put concealer on top, you're just putting a lot of product in. And with my concealer, I'm going to use a full coverage brush. And I'm actually gonna start from the outside and work my way inwards. And I'm using the shade Cool Sand. So, it is actually much brighter than my natural skin tone, but I do like a little bit more of a quote unquote blown out eye. So I'm blending it into the center to cover the corrector. And the reason why I start from the outside in is because 
there isn't any product on this side, so I just want to swoop it in. And then I don't know if you can notice that well, but right where my lash line is, I actually didn't put any corrector or concealer there because what I'm going to do now, whatever is on my brush, I'm going to brush it inwards towards the lash line. I find that if you put too much concealer right directly under your lash line, it's a little bit stark. Bring that concealer into the inner eye up here, just so you get that brightness. And whatever's left on my brush, I'm just gonna swipe it underneath my brow bone. So before I go onto the other eye, we have a little project for work and we have to take a before and after. So I'm just gonna take a little selfie. Okay, moving on. Now we're gonna go into powdering. So, so step one is concealer, and then the last step is your powder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my blending brush and I'm going to load it in there. And then I'm going to press it off into, this is where your mirror would be, press it off into there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it gently under my eye area. And when you, this concealer kit is actually one of our concealers that is waterproof for under the eye area. So just like the foundation 16 hour waterproof, this under eye concealer is also waterproof, which is awesome. My favorite powder that I always use is our weightless powder, our weightless foundation powder. And what I'll do is I roll my brush inside, press it into the mirror, and that's all the powder I'll use. I'm going to start off in my T-zone. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna flip my brush and do the rest. Now lastly, or not lastly, second to last, bronzer. Again, I'm using Golden Light with a face blender brush, buffing it into the mirror so that way it doesn't create a brown splotch. I'm going to apply it right on my cheekbones underneath. Go into my hairline, down the jawline, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of warmth so whatever's left on my brush, I'm just going to buff it all over the side of my face. And then again, my little trick I like to do across the upper lip, down the chin, and then whatever's on my brush, squeeze it and just go down the side of your nose and you get a natural nose contour. And then my finishing step, my actual last step, I'm going to get the angled face brush and I'm going to apply my favorite afternoon glow highlight powder. I'm going to Buff it in to the product and then into the mirror. And then for myself, I'm just going to apply it all over my cheek as if it were like a blush. All right, so this look is full coverage. It's long wearing because we used uh, Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation, which is waterproof, as well as the concealer that's waterproof. It has a glow because I added the afternoon glow to my cheek to give it that superficial shimmer. And then I also added the extra repair balm to give it that lip from within look. I achieved the full coverage for what I call full coverage is with the full coverage foundation and then with the foundation stick. If you have any questions or need to know how to color match yourself, send me a DM or give me a comment on the bottom. Thank you so much. Have a great afternoon.